because I love everything that's unpredictable mm -hmm. and I feel like your music is in a way like a bit unpredictable in a nice way of course <laughs> 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 I really wanted to make a CD for a very long time but I could not like there was no music that I really felt like I wanted to record or that was like felt like me and then you invited me to come play uh, one of your pieces and I just had this like experience of you know when your brain explodes a bit I felt like oh this music feels like me And we use analog synthesizers, which is if you press a note on the analog synthesizer, mm -hmm. and the next time you press it, it sounds different. Yeah, it is yeah. like an acoustic instrument. Yeah, you know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You wrote this uh, violin concerto and I immediately like knew that I wanted to record it and then I had to find something that could work for like mm. the other part of the CD and um, I got yeah. a message from Trygve Seib and uh, he sent me this like uh, oh you should listen to this violin concerto by Glass mm. uh, it would really suit you and I listened to it and I really liked it this could maybe work. Uh, but there was like an instrument that sounded a little bit like a cembalo yeah. in that, that piece. Mm. And then I checked the score and it said keyboard. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> then I could like have like a red thread between the pieces. Do you think it works? Yeah, I think yeah? so. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, Philip Glass, because I remember when he came with this music, like in the 60s, I listened to it and I thought it was maybe very simple, but now I think it's very complex in its yeah, simplicity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It is maybe in, in some ways simple, but for me it has like all this, yeah. like so much emotion. When I play it, I, I, in one way I want to just like, you know, put my whole heart out mm. there. Mm. But it's kind of like it's out there, but still introvert. So I feel like I need to like hold back a little bit. Mm to kind of not be in the way of the music. Yeah. Yeah. 23rd of June, Patientia will be released with Violin Concerto Number 2 by Philip Glass and Violin Concerto Number 1 by Shetin Bjerkestrand. Uh, it's with me, the Norwegian Chamber Orchestra, Ed Gardner and Anja Leundak.